Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you a little bit about assemblies, maybe perhaps an introduction to assemblies. We're going to take these two simple parts and put them together in assembly, and I'll show you some of the steps involved in doing that, and some of the assembly features too that we can add to it, like uh, using our toolbox to put in uh, some uh, fasteners in order to get this assembly uh, put together properly and make it look good. So. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and take some of these parts apart and actually work on some of these parts. And I'd like to show you some modeling techniques and some new features that we haven't touched on yet, and uh, kind of show you how to do that. So look at the parts. What we're dealing, what we're dealing with here is a, is a meter of some kind, some sort of a meter, perhaps a pressure meter, a flow meter, uh, an amp meter, a watt hour meter, something that could be uh, mounted under a backboard in a control situation, or perhaps on DIN rails into a control panel. But uh, either way, uh, there are uh, two parts are going to be associated with uh, with this meter. We have the meter cap in yellow, and then the meter base in the, in this blue color. And we're going to use uh, and show you some uh, different modeling techniques and features that are going to go with that. For instance, with the meter cap, if we were to go ahead and open that, and the way you can do that, if you just click on the item over here in your uh, user interface and go to open, you can open up that part. You also have the ability to edit that part in place and we'll cover that probably in a future video or as an alternative you can go come over here to the future manager tree and pick the item out of the tree and open it over there too but real quick let's just talk about assemblies we're going to cover this in a later video these are all the elements that are associated with the assembly we have our meter base part which is highlighted in blue in the background we have our meter cap which is uh, highlighted in the, in the foreground now uh, both in blue and we have uh, three screws I already put in there have an oval head screw that uh, fits in a hole, a hole wizard hole that we had actually put in there. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. So we're going to go ahead and open up the meter base. I call it one meter base and uh, one meter cap because we're going to go ahead and model this with those items open so we can go back and refer to them as we go through these videos. And we're going to call the, the, the new models we're going to make, we're just going to call those meter base and meter cap. So let's go ahead and open up the meter cap first. So right click on that. Go up to this icon up in the upper left hand corner. If you rest your cursor over any of these icons, any of these tools in uh, SOLIDWORKS, it's pretty typical. It'll tell you what that is in just a small letter and then a little dialog box just below that. So we're going to go ahead and open up that part and we'll take a look at that. Now let's go ahead and use the rollback bar and just kind of talk about this. We're going to rename our features in our new one, but what we have here is a boss extrude with a draft to it. So if you look at it from the top down, or from the front to the back, you can see there's a little bit of draft to it. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute, but it's a basically just a blind 200 millimeter extrusion with a two degree draft. And so what that does is it gives you a, kind of a little bit of a taper to it. On the top, we're gonna make a cut. It's just gonna be a straight down cut. And that too, we put a draft in it. So if you look at that from the very uh, front, from the front to the back, you notice you have a little bit of material growing as you go to the back, but you also have that cut which is uh, you know that this rib up here, this feature that's sticking out up here, that actually grows too. So that does have a, um, a you know, piece of material or some material that comes out into the middle of that. So that too has a draft. Then we have a shell feature. We did a shell feature in the back. And we did that shell, shell feature in such a manner that if we did a, a cut on that, we did a section cut on it and looked at that, that it doesn't interfere with our uh, cut up here. You can go ahead and see the draft on both sides here too. You can see the draft on a basic extrude over here and you can see the draft in the cut. And then the shell over here does not interfere with that. It doesn't go up into this area, which probably wouldn't be appropriate for it to go. So the boss extrude on the bottom, let's go ahead and take that out. What we have here is a tab and it's gonna be start of a tab that's gonna go into our assembly. Uh, and on top of that tab, we have a hole wizard hole and uh, this is going to be an unthreaded hole, and that's going to go into our meter base. Then we have a circular pattern. We're going to take that uh, hole as a hole and the tab and do a circular pattern and do five of those units going all the way around the, the bottom of our cap. Then finally, our cut extrude, we're going to put in a couple slot uh, sketch entities in here before our extrude in order to put in a face in here and maybe some additional parts we can add to that. And I'll let that you add that at your discretion. But these are going to be kind of windows into the meter itself. So the desire here with the, with, with the meter cap is it keeps it uh, protected, keeps the actual meter elements and electronics and other devices inside of that meter protected. And uh, that's what the meter cap's for. But you do need kind of a window to be able to see what's going on in here. Either a digital or an analog scale would probably be up here. And maybe um, you know some buttons or something like that, some sort of user interface might go down here. 
but I will leave that up to your discretion. So let's go ahead and close that. We're not going to save that part. And uh, if you ever get this uh, dialog uh, box up here, you can either keep what is already here and incorporate that into your assembly, or you can discard everything that you see here, and that gets incorporated into the assembly. Really, we didn't change anything. But what SolidWorks does, even though you don't save the part, that start is, part is still available in memory because it's still part of our model. So you do have two choices here. And cancel would cancel the save command. So we're going to go ahead and do the discard. And it goes back to the original part. We really didn't make any changes to it. Now let's go ahead and look at our, um, our meter base. Let's go ahead and open that up. So something very similar. We're going to start with the basic extrude on the bottom. And again, we're going to rename our features here too. We have a, a cut for the for the meter cut for the meter cap. It's going to go inside of that, and we do another cut inside of that too. So what it does is it cuts on the inside in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at a, another section view of that, and we'll go ahead and choose the right one. So our initial cut just went straight down here, but our secondary cut actually cut a little bit more, and this is in anticipation of us putting in that uh, that slot cut in here in order to take that meter cap, put it in there, and be be able to turn it. And then we have our tab cut, so we'll get out of our section view. To get out of your section view, just go back up to our heads up toolbar up here and the section view button. We're just going to undo that. So there's our tab cut, and then we're going to do another boss extrude. So what we did is we put in here a kind of a stop. So we go ahead and put in the, the meter cap in here, and we want to rotate it to the right. We want to rotate it uh, clockwise, that it's going to eventually stop at that. There's nothing in SolidWorks that's going to physically allow you to stop that. But it's something you probably want to have in your physical model if you were to make something like this. You probably want to have a stop in there. So, we have our tab cut. We have our boss extrude in here for our, uh, it's going to uh, be our tab cut stop. And we're going to rename these as we go. And we also have a, a, a hole in here uh, that's going to be, um, and even though that looks white, we can probably change our color here. Let's go to the appearance. And um, when it comes to appearances here, this is kind of a hierarchical. Uh, sort of relationship up here. I have white for the background, but that really kind of makes it look like uh, it's part of that background. So let's go ahead and change that. And perhaps let's change that to yellow. So it's something that's light, but something we can easily differentiate. Anyways, back to our hole wizard hole. This is going to be a, um, a flathead machine hole, a flathead machine screw hole. And it's going to be through a wall, but what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to thread the bottom of that. So when we go through the meter cap, uh, the hole that's there, it's going to be open enough to get that uh, six millimeter screw in there. You also have this uh, this counter counter sink in here to allow the the head of the screw to be able to become you know allow the screw itself, the top of the screw, to become flush with the uh, with the meter base. But we're also going to thread the bottom. So this uh, bottom part is going to be threaded here. It'll be threaded. Uh, it won't be threaded up here. It won't be threaded through the. Uh, the meter cap, but it ends up being threaded down here, so we can actually get that thing anchored down. And then with these three features, our tab cut, our uh, tab boss stop, and our uh, uh, hole wizard hole, we're going to do use all three of those elements in our circular pattern. Just like before, this is a circular pattern, just like a linear pattern, we're going to circulate that around this axis that you see here, just five elements going around couple more features. We're going to do uh, some tabs in the side. Boss extrude there. Another uh, hole wizard hole. And then we're going to do a linear pattern. The linear pattern allows us to set up a direction on that and allow, to allow us to select certain items or certain features we want to include in that linear pattern. And finally, we're going to take that linear pattern and mirror it to the other side. So let's go ahead and roll that back and roll that forward again. We're going to take this linear pattern one and mirror that to the other side. So that's our uh, part for our meter base. Let's do the control tab and go back to our uh, assembly. Nothing's changed here. But this is what we're going to start modeling. We're going to do this on a part by part basis. And our next stop is going to be starting the model of the meter cap. So thank you for joining me and we'll see you in the next films.